Hello my little gems and welcome back to my channel. So before we get to video, this clip quickly do the old spill. Please give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Comment down below what you think of this week's Bears idea. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to ring that little bell so you get notifications every time I upload. So this week's Spares idea is a small idea, but um, some of you might like it. You know, it's slightly different. So we're going to be blinging up my bin. <laughs> So I have where I am, we now have wheelie bins and so I thought, right, okay, I'm going to uh, buy some of these plain number twos because I live at number two. I'm not saying where I live, but I I live at number two and yeah, so um, we, um, what do you call it? So yeah, we have been, we've been here and even though I did put like a number two on it last year, that's faded over time and everything. So I thought I will buy some of these and I'm going to bling them up and at least come with a pack of two. I've got this from Home Bargains. They're in there um, with all the bin bags and everything. So yeah, they did have all like other stickers and everything, but none of the stickers really, really took my fancy. So I thought, I'm just going to get number two. I'm going to decorate it all up pretty and everything. And yeah, so, uh, you know, I've got, we have two really bins each. We have one for, we have the black and we have a brown, which is for garden. And I thought, right, okay, I'm going to bling up my really bin a little bit. And just so, you know, the old bin bin don't get mixed up. Because sometimes they get mixed up and I get somebody else that's completely different. You know, which is, so you've got to be like, be trying to sort out who's is who and what is what and everything else. So, yeah, I thought, right, I'm going to get some of these and decorate the two. You get two in the pack, so I'm all right. You know, so I've got both, but obviously if you live, like, for example, if you live in an address that's higher than nine, it's ten or above, you're going to need two. But at... Uh, they're like 70 odd p a pack, so that's not that expensive really, it's quite nice. You know, they, they do come in packs of two, so you're not buying four packs, which they would quite, quite, quite pricey, wouldn't it? But yeah, two in a pack, and yeah, so, and it should work out well. So let's change the angle and see exactly how we get on. Right, so I am ready to go. Well, not quite ready to go. But for this one, I'm going to be using my good old B7000 glue because I'm not going to be able to seal this because obviously it will just crack when I'm trying to peel it, to pull it apart and everything. And I've decided for both of them I'm going to go blue around the outside and I'll just do multicolour in the middle. Nothing too fancy but something quite simple but it should look quite effective. So, I need this one for this tray I find works better for these larger blue drills. So, let's get cracking and see how we get on. Sorry, I'm just going to go around the edges first and then fill the middle in. And what I might do, try and make sure the edges are straight. Let's use my ruler, hold it against. And then I've got something to, oh, without sticking myself to the ruler. going to come off always away in it sometimes it comes off perfectly sometimes it doesn't if not I'll just use the wax pencil to stick these on that'll work I just say it'd be two at a time would be better they seem to come off. 
So I'm doing pretty well today. This is the third video I'm recording. Um, so I'm quite pleased with myself. Like this one nice straight edge, as you can see. Let's do this bottom bit, the side bit here. That's that side bit done. Right, so there's got a bit of a gap there, so I'll squidge these out slightly. There we go. Let's do this side bit here. Right, so I'm going to carry on for a bit. And I'll come back and do a bit more talky talky in a bit. Right, so I'm going to get this edge bit done first. And I'll come back, show you how it's done going. And then carry on with the filling the centre of it. All right. Right, so I've, um, instead of using this bag, I had a bag of like loads of mixed, so I decided to use that up instead, so I can, so this one will be extra shiny, so yeah, so I've done all this, as you can see it looks quite tidy. And I think that actually looks pretty good because it'll be quite bright and colourful from a distance and everything. So you can possibly hear my husband talking to his friend on the phone he hasn't spoken to for ages. So and what I'm going to do quickly is shut the door. So yeah, I had um, like this week off work. And I managed to watch all four seasons of Stranger Things. I did watch like the first two seasons, first season and a half or something. And then I stopped watching it for some reason. I never got back around to watching it. And the latest season of Stranger Things is just not long come out. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to sit here and watch the rest of um, Stranger Things. Now we watch it all. So yeah, I watched the whole of the first series and everything. Even though I had already watched it, but I, yeah, we it, it just refreshed because like, I couldn't remember everything that happened to be honest. So it was like rewatching it for the first time anyway, because there was so much that I completely forgot about anyway. So it was quite good to watch, and as per usual, it gets left on a cliffhanger. So yeah. Obviously, I'm not going to say what happens or anything, because, like, in case you haven't watched it. So. And then, like, a series me and my husband always watch together is Grey's Anatomy. You know, we love that series, you know. And, um, so I think, um, I don't think they're quite as far as ahead as it was. But at one point, like, we used to get, like, it way, way, way behind America. And like they'd be like the season would be finished before we even really start it over here, but they've actually changed that now. I'm pretty sure you know because I'm pretty sure they started the season here this time a couple of months. We normally don't start the season till like May time, and we have to wait like ages for the new series series to start after America. But I'm pretty sure this year they started. Yeah, they did. They started a lot lot sooner. So that was nice because we do, you know, me and the husband do enjoy Grey's Anatomy. 
we really do. So, yeah, um, and it's just a case of trying to figure out, you know, I'm, I don't know what else to watch, really, season-wise. So I just watched Stranger Things. I really enjoyed that. And I don't know, I just, I don't know what to watch now. So if you've got any suggestions for series, I am trying, I need to finish watching the whole lot of Buffy as well, because I'm re-watching that. But I feel like I need a break for it because after so much, because like once you get after season three of Buffy, it obviously Angel starts as well. So I was watching a hell of a lot of, lot of Angel and Buffy. So it got to the point I needed a break because I I saw this fine like when you're watching it a lot, then my brain starts thinking like you need a break from this, and because I just couldn't concentrate on it after a while because it's just you know. So I thought, right, I need to watch something else. So I watched Stranger Things. I need to figure out something else to watch. No idea what yet. So if you guys have got any suggestions for me, I'd be extremely grateful. Let me know what you're watching. I don't even mind if it's not in English. Like, for example, ages ago, years and years and years ago, like there's a Netflix series called The Three Percent. And I can't remember what's, I think it was in Brazilian or I can't remember what language it was now. I'm really sorry. But yeah, I, I watched a whole lot dubbed, uh, not dubbed, because um, back then not everything was in English. And I think, I don't think everything now is still not all in English. But I did um, watch it in the language it was released in and... I didn't mind it actually, you know. I just have to make sure like I'm actually paying attention. Otherwise, I haven't got a clue what's going on because if my if I'm doing diamond paint at the time, because then I'm not following the subtitles of what's going on. So yeah, and like I watched the old Squid Games when that came out. Because I heard everyone talking about it. So, well, what's this about there? Everyone's talking about it. So, me and the husband watched that together. And I did quite enjoy it, actually. It's a bit it's a bit different. So. And I don't have much of this left to do. Yeah. This is just, you know, a quick little spares idea. Nothing too, like, drawn out or anything. Nothing too hard. It's just, you know, I needed to put some numbers on me bin because the ones I brought before were all faded and just look not, not very good. So I thought, do you know what? I was going to decorate a couple. Just, you know, put a little bling on me bin. <laughs> so, yeah. Right, so I've got this little tiny gap here, so I changed my multi place, and now I think. And then just this little bit here now. Right, so. I'm going to put the last few of these on. And then I'll come back and show you the final result because I've been jabbering. I don't know how long because the thing is covering. Again, I just picked up a square drill. Like I said, this was a ba bag of all mixed, so that I got sent. Um, some people out there do just um want to just like to send me their spares, as they know that because they don't want to bin them, but they won't use them themselves, so. They say, Jim, can I just send you my spares? I'm like, yeah, go on then. So then they send me over their spares. <laughs> right, I need some more. This, this is going to dry here. Here we go. So yeah, this have got about a minute's worth of work here. And then... I'll come back and show you how it looks. All right. So here we are, the one I've just finished. 
There we go. Oh, so you can't, it's not going to be reflecting too much. Let me actually get my torch. Here we go. Here it goes. Now reflecting a bit more. It's a bit more sparkly. So, yeah, that's that one. And then this is, in, like, in good old Blue Peter fashion, those of you who used to watch Blue Peter, here's one I made earlier. And this is just the normal mix drill and with the blue outline again. But, yeah, really pleased with how they look. So these should just, like, make my wheelie bins, because obviously I've got two wheelie bins, look a little bit more... Fancy. <laughs> I just wanted them to um, stand out a little bit more, I think. You know, that's what I wanted to do. Just make them look a little bit more, a little bit more different to all the other boring old wheelie bins out there. You know. So, yeah. That is my wheelie bin so when i go and put, i'm gonna go put these on in a second and what i'll do at the same time i'll show you guys my number two which was like one of, i think that was my very first spares project um that i've done and that's my house my um house number i just did my house number in spare drills so then i didn't um you know because i didn't know what to do but yeah so let's I'll quickly take you outside and show you me um, put them on my wheelie bin and then show you what they look like, okay? So I just showed you the, um, what you call it one? Sorry, I've got a piece of paper covering up the town I live in. I think I have accidentally said it before, but obviously I don't want the whole world to know the town I live in. So it's got it covered over. And so yeah, here's the number two on me old bin. Uh, this is my garland bin, so excuse all the weeds. I am in the middle of sorting out my mess of a garden because this year I am so behind. Because I have a big old garden, I really, really do. Oh, knees are going. Show you all the weed I'll be doing like at the moment. I've, I've got to put it all in the way my waist, my garden bin, but I'm waiting for it to go down a little bit before I could get all these weeds because it was a so overgrown. My garden is absolutely massive. It all the way down here. My blackberry bush at the back. I need to trim out back a little bit because it got a bit wild. But yeah, my garden is absolutely massive. It's not that tidy at the moment. And I would like to leave that bit over there for the wildlife, let that wild grow wild. And then oh, I've got some fruit trees and everything else. So yeah, it's still not looking that tidy, but I'm slowly getting there, I promise. And this is my number two. So it's got in quite a shady spot. And it has ivy all growing around my archway. And uh, there we go. Squeeze the mess all back there. Like I said, I'm in the middle of sorting all this out. But like I say, Rome wasn't built in a day. It's going to take me a couple more days to get back onto it. But yeah, really, really cute. I really love, well, it's not cute really, but it's just a number of, number two really. I made out of spare drills. But yeah, as you can see, stayed on really well. I sealed this with, I used double sided tape for this one and sealed with varnish. And you can see, I haven't lost any drills. It's all stayed on really, really well. So yeah, really pleased how they come out. And I'll quickly show you a couple of plant pots that have survived. So the colors on this one was already really light, hence why it looks faded, but they were already doing this color. And this was pinks and grays. As you can see, it's not faded at all. It's really good. And like, actually, I think a couple of these drills have fallen off because they were knocked off by my nephews when they come through here on their bikes, which is fine, you know, accidents happen. I'm not gonna go 
scream and shout at them for breaking things like that one. Oh, this could have been my husband as well with the old wheelie bin. But I'm pretty sure I could fix this one. Because the bits are still here. So. But, you know, terracotta pots do get broken, you know. And in the old summertime, you know, the winter, you know, all the snow and everything. But to be honest, they do hold up really well. These have been outside for, what, three years now? So three years two years something like that anyway two three years I'm pretty sure it's coming on to three years and yeah so they have like done really well so it's not the pure fact that you know they they, they don't really fade they just more got more chance of getting knocked over and broken more than anything else because the terracotta are not plastic you know or metal so yeah so hope you enjoyed this video thank you ever so much for watching and i shall see you all next time bye everyone